Christopher was born at 29 weeks. Two weeks after he was in intensive care, he ended up getting a staph infection. He completely coded, he was resuscitated. He went home with multiple machines. But for us, we thought that Christopher's condition was temporary. It just got to a point where we thought something wasn't right. We took Christopher to a second opinion at CHOP in Philadelphia. And the doctor there, uh, he continuously said to me that Christopher swallowed air, but he wouldn't tell me what that meant. Uh, I remember I walked out of that appointment that day and I just said, um, uh, God, you gave him to me. Now just give me the knowledge that I need to take care of him. Give me the wisdom to take care of him. And from that point on, I kind of understood that Christopher had significant needs. And if I wanted him to survive, I was going to have to educate myself to learn how to take care of him. In a given day, Christopher has um, three shifts. Two of them are covered by nursing staff. I have two different nursing agencies, uh, but definitely having the coordinated care between myself and the agencies definitely does make a difference in my life because I have two full-time jobs. So it's really important that Christopher has coverage. If he doesn't have care, then I cannot go to work. I have to stay home to take care of Christopher. Christopher's as healthy as healthy is for him. And the reason he's healthy is because he's home. And every child in Delaware deserves the right to be home, deserves the right to have their mother kiss them goodnight.